We're Maggie and Brad, and we've been full-time RVing since 2016. Join us and our sidekick Paco as we explore incredible places in the U.S. and beyond. Hey guys. Hey. We have come about three hours up the coast from where we were last week. Uh, we are now near, what's the closest city? Manzanita? Manzanita or Nehalem. We are at Nehalem Bay State Park Campground. We had a lovely drive up the 101. Yeah, long but scenic. Um, there were quite a few cute little towns, Depot Bay and uh, Garibaldi looked like places we should come back to. When we passed through Tillamook, um, the creamery, the Tillamook cheese factory there was slammed. <laughs> that place looked huge. It was huge. They had RV parking. I don't know if they allow overnights. The nearby Blue Heron Cheese Company is part of Harvest Hosts and they allow an overnight. It is a beautiful, if windy day. Um, we found a great looking hike in Ecola State Park that we're going to check out. We're only here on weekdays basically, so just sort of getting out after work not really getting to do the deep dive that this area deserves, but there's still some great things to see and we can't wait to share with you guys. Well guys, as we were driving <laughs> and we realized it was going to be more like a 45 minute drive up to E. Cola and we saw the weather kind of turning, we decided to do something closer to home, so to speak. <laughs> so we have come to Hug Point and hopefully it's close enough to low tide that we can get around the point and see the waterfall that falls onto the beach. <laughs> Gotta get out of here, man. Okay, go, go, go. No, it's coming in right now. We decided to pull over um, at this random viewpoint, and that way, crazy cloudy, obviously. This way, boom! <laughs> Let's get a better look at that. Sorry. <laughs> Real nice. I know. Well, today we've come down to Ecola State Park. We made it. We made it. It was just maybe a 40 minute drive, but uh, I don't think we're going to do any hikes. We're just going to enjoy the viewpoints yep. and the views. 
This park features prominently in the Goonies, the Fratelli's family hideout. The lighthouse lounge was temporarily constructed at Ecola Point, and Mikey used the rocky coastline here to gain clues to the location of One-Eyed Willie's treasure. You guys, that is awful. That's terrifying. Oh my gosh, what were they doing in here? <laughs> oh, that's terrible. And now we've come down to the other main parking area, which is at Indian Beach. I'm glad we just happened to be here at low tide. So. Yeah, it was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. It's been low tide like around five or six every day. It's just perfect. Great for us for our uh, workday limitations. We've read that Ecola can get really busy, especially on the weekends or if the weather's really nice. Um, it, it worked out well for us, thankfully. We went after five on a weekday and it was a bit cloudy, so there was plenty of parking. Cell service at the campground has been great. AT&T has been fast. Um, Verizon's good as well. There is a bike loop uh, around the campground and we're gonna go check that out later today. <laughs> 